welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia and today I am going to be teaching you how to do zigzags into a two foot spin. So this is a beginner entry into that two foot spin. So if you've learned how to do your helicopter spin and you're ready for a more interesting entry, you can try these zigzags. Or if you're struggling with your wind up, then the zigzags can be a little step down so that you can give yourself an entry that's not that proper wind up. So the zigzags is kind of an in between. You've learned how to do a basic two foot spin, but you're not doing a wind up yet. Zigzags is the perfect in the middle spot. Let me show you what this is gonna look like. So we're gonna start by learning how to do the move, the zigzag, and then we'll connect it to the two foot spin. So make sure you know how to do a two foot spin. I'll post a link to my helicopter spin tutorial down below, and that'll give you that basic spin feeling. You can work on that, and then we're gonna put that zigzag in front of it. So we're gonna start with just the zigzag maneuver. That's this part. Okay, so the main thing is, I want you to start by twisting your waist really hard. Okay, without that really limber waist, this move is not going to work. So we're just imagining our top half and our bottom half are separate and we're winding them like a pepper shaker or like a pepper grinder, okay? So leave your bottom half stationary and you're gonna just right through the middle, you're gonna try to twist and rotate your upper body. Release, twist and rotate your upper body. So you don't wanna be tipping when we're doing this. We wanna keep those hands on a really steady, even level. You're like a Barbie doll. So once we've got that waist limbered up and we've got that twist going, we're gonna address the lower half, your legs. So we're doing, it's kind of like a, twi a swizzle, where, um, or a half swizzle. So a half swizzle, you pump with one leg, and then pump with the other, but your feet aren't gonna come all the way in. It's more directed with your upper body. So you're gonna push a little bit with your right foot and swing your right hand in front, okay? But you can see my feet are not coming all the way together. I'm letting my left foot turn as my right foot pushes. So a proper one, this left foot is right under me and I'm keeping it forward as I pump. Okay, but for a zigzag, I'm letting my left foot turn. So my right foot is pumping and my left foot is turning. Okay, and then I'm gonna repeat that with my left foot. My left foot pumps and my right foot turns. So my whole body is turning a corner. So we can practice that. We go pump with the right, let the left turn. Pump with the left, let the right turn. Okay, so your weight is a little bit more central. With a swizzle, with a half swizzle, you have your weight over the foot that's not moving. All right, so your, foot is, your weight is lined up. But with a zigzag, your weight's more even. That way, you can let yourself turn. So we're keeping our weight a little bit more towards the center so that your non-dominant foot, that's the one that's not pushing, kind of is guided by the pushing foot, okay? So we have push, let your body turn, push, let your body turn. When you're doing these zigzags, we want to talk about the knees. We, we talked a little bit about the pushes, but I want to clarify what your knees are doing. So I'm going to say pushing foot and gliding foot. Okay, so we're going to call them the, by those titles that you understand. So the pushing foot, that's the one on the outside of the curve, is gonna straighten somewhat while the gliding foot stays bent, okay? So it's, it doesn't have to be 100% straight, but you want it fairly straight. That way you know you're pushing all the way. So it's pushing and straightening while the gliding foot is staying bent. Push and straighten, keep the other one bent. Push and straighten, keep the other one bent. Okay, so we don't wanna end up with both knees bent the same or it just turns into swizzles, okay? So we wanna be keeping the one that's non-dominant, the gliding foot, bent, while the pushing foot is starting bent and then it's straightening up and that's gonna help you go around that corner. 
Okay, so that's what the knees are going to do. Now let's put it all together with the upper body. So that upper body, we're gonna go back to that twist that we worked on earlier and we're gonna put it with the legs. So we're gonna push with the left leg and the right, sorry, we're gonna push with the right leg and the right hand is going to twist all the way. So we're ending up in a position where your right leg is extended, your left knee is bent, you're twisted over towards your left and your right hand is in front. Okay, so it's a very, you should have a long line through the right side of your body. Okay, we're gonna stand up. Now the left side pushes. The left hand reaches out in front. So we go twist together, twist together, twist together, twist together. So this is your zigzag. Now this makes a great warm up, all right? If you can practice this around the rink as a warm up at the beginning of your session. But once you've gotten somewhat smooth at it, we can make it into a spin entrance. So again, practice those zigzags all by themselves. They're a great exercise. They make a great session warm up at the beginning. When you get out, you can do your stroking, you could do some zigzags. But now we're going to connect them with your two foot spin. Now I am a counterclockwise rotator. So I'm gonna be demonstrating this counterclockwise, but you can do this clockwise as well for those of you who are left-handed or like to rotate clockwise. Actually, I might be able to demonstrate this both ways. We will see, I might get confused. Bear with me. We're gonna start with my direction, which is counterclockwise. So we're gonna do that first zigzag to the left. So I'm pushing with the right leg and I'm swinging the right hand. I'm gonna do the second one to the right, pushing with the left hand. And then on the third one, I'm gonna actually push and then pull my toes in and my hands in. So it's always on the third zigzag that you convert into your spin. So that last zigzag, you have your hands all the way to the right, your legs extended, okay? You've finished your zigzag, but instead of standing up back to the middle, what I want you to do is keep the pressure over on your left side, okay? So you have twisted to the left, you've pushed with the right. What I want you to do is keep that pressure to the left and pull your toes in, and then you're gonna stand up keeping everything left centered. Okay, so your hands are over the left, your weight is predominantly on the left, and your right toe has come in to meet the left toe. Okay, so that's gonna be on the third zigzag. We're gonna go towards the left, towards the right. On the left one, we're gonna keep that left side pressure and pull the toes in. And that is how you convert a zigzag into a two foot spin. All right, so now I'm gonna try it lefty for you. Most people who are left-handed rotate clockwise. This isn't everyone, I know there are exceptions to the rule, but a lot of people who are left-handed prefer the feeling of rotating clockwise. So I'm gonna give that a shot for you so you can see how this is gonna work. So the first one you're gonna do, pushes to the left, rotates to the right. The second one pushes with the right, rotates to the left. And the third one is gonna push with the left, rotate to the right, and we're gonna go back into that two foot spin. Okay, so, whew, slightly dizzy. 
Okay, so we're, that third one is the really important one. So we're going to the right, to the left, back to the right, pushing with the left. So on that third one, to convert it into the spin, you're gonna make that left toe come all the way around to join the right. Your left hand is coming around, and so everything is now right-centered. So your weight is on the right foot. Your hands are over the right side of your chest. You're slightly turned towards the right, and your left toe has come around to meet your right toe. Okay, we're gonna try this again. It genuinely makes me dizzy spinning this way, but I can do it on a two-foot spin. Okay, so we have one, two, pump around, push everything towards the right. Woo! And that is a spin for you lefties or at least for you clockwise rotating spinners. All right, I hope you enjoyed that more beginner entry into a two foot spin. Again, if you haven't gotten that nice wind up into a two foot spin, if you're struggling with that, this is a step down that you can work on. And if you've already learned that marching helicopter spin, you can step up to work on this zigzag into a two foot spin. If you enjoyed this video, please do give us that thumbs up. And as always, I'm looking forward to reading all your comments in that section down below. Of course, if you had, haven't hit that subscribe button, you wanna do that so you don't miss any videos. And if you want more instructional content from Coach Julia, make sure to head over to Patreon. There's a link in the description down below so you can get some exclusive Coach Julia content. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.